Good morning and welcome to your Farm and Home Show. My name is Joanna Coles and this morning we're visiting with Dr. Travis Leglider. He's with the University of Kentucky as Extension Weed Scientist there. Good morning, Travis. Good morning, Joanna. Now, Travis, today we're going to talk a little bit about the importance of pre-emergent weed control because a lot of times we don't think about weeds until they're already there, but you have a ton of research to show that the earlier the better. Yes, that's right. So we really heavily promote pre-emergent herbicides. And, and the reason we promote them so heavily is uh, the, you're controlling the weed really at its weakest point, and that's when it's emerging. Um, and especially weeds like palmer and water hemp, um, the best time to control them is early in the season and as they're emerging. That, that is the best time to get control of those weeds. And you know, we, if we had farmers that had trouble with those two specific weeds last year, the likelihood it, they're going to have trouble this year. So getting ahead of that would be better. Yes, yes. So trying to get ahead of that is the best thing. If you had it last year, you're definitely going to have them this year for sure. So um, getting ahead of them and that's starting clean and starting clean with that pre emerge herbicide. And as specifically, if you're talking about water hemp and palmer amaranth, we really want them to have a robust residual out there, a res robust pre-merge herbicide. And so that's something that contains a group 14 or group 15 or group five, or at least two of those. And we've, the research we've done over the years has shown multiple times that having at least two effective sites of action is better than one against those two weeds. And so we really highly promote getting as many sites of action in that pre-merge application as we can. And the good news is that we do have those available. Yes, so we have lots of those available. So there, there's probably uh, at least a dozen if more products that are pre-mixes of those already on the market and available to farmers uh, to use. And so the farmer doesn't have to think about what mix is he going to use. He can just use the pre-mix that's already available to him. And Travis, another reason this is so important is because once those weeds start growing, they grow rather quickly. Yes, they do grow rather quickly. And so with a pre-emerge, you're suppressing the growth of any of those weeds. You'll still have that break eventually, but you're buying yourself some time in that soybean field or, or cornfield, both. But uh, in this case, we're talking about soybean and you're buying yourself time. And so a pre can last you four to five weeks, um, sometimes six or seven weeks. And that's time that you have ahead of you. Whereas without a pre, you're probably out there with Palmer and water hemp two weeks after planting trying to control it and you're controlling a, a whole bunch of weeds whereas a pre is going to hold most of them back and you're just controlling a couple of weeds that are out there. And you know in a time where market uncertainty is there and people might be trying to cut cost this is probably not one of those that that we want to cut because the economic damage right. uh, is probably greater. Yes, right. So it, it's usually one of the first ones farmers want to cut because it's, it is an expensive option. And so it's easy to see when you're looking at the books or looking at the numbers, like this costs a lot, so let's get rid of it. But for me, it's the best use of your money is to cut, is, is using that pre-emerge. And so we really need to leave it in there and look for other places that we might be able to cut things out. Um, because really, long term, that's the best use of our money. And another thing is, you know, once you get that established in a field, it's really hard to control. Yes, yes. Once you're established, once you have Palmer and water hemp established in that field, um, getting control of it can be difficult, especially post-emergence. We do have post-emergence options now, but the pre-emergence options are still our best option. And then using that post option to clean up anything that the pre may have missed. So you're still going to have to have post applications, um, but the pre just reduces the pressure that we put on those post applications. Now, Travis, I'm a visual person, and I know you have a photo that kind of illustrates the difference. Yes, so in that photo, what we're looking at there is the front half of that plot is had the pre-emerge on it, and the back half had no pre-emerge, and that's six weeks after planting. And so what you can see there is in the front half, there's still a few weeds there that are broken, but in the back half, those weeds are all four inches tall, and it's a really dense, uh, you know, dense infestation of weeds. And so when we go to make our post application, uh, we're gonna get good coverage of just those few handful of weeds in the front, but in the back, we have some potential to miss some application there because of the density of that stand. So it's also about that post application and, and really improving the efficacy of that post application. Absolutely. Well, Travis, certainly appreciate the information. Good information, good advice. Make sure to get a pre-emergence down to get ahead of the game. And we have several uh, pieces of information about this. So if you have questions, contact your local extension office and we'd be happy to help. Thanks for watching and have a great day.